Hello, brr. Look, I wasn't planning to upload a second video on Hyperplane so soon, but it added some funny and some cool features I want to show you already. The project gets updates daily, so, you know, depending when you're running it, perhaps you see totally different things. But for now, we have a welcome screen, which is something you won't see very often on a file manager, is it? Perhaps it's there to explain the concept of categories, hashtag tags, which I still have a hard time to fully realize how it's supposed to work. But after that point, it has nothing to say, so it goes like, You own your files, man, and you are in control, chief. Really? Come on, everyone knows control is an illusion and developers know that the best, so why they're even bothering? Whatever. But let me show you the tab's overview that the first time I saw it in console around six months ago, I was like, this thing should totally get into files. Oh, Hyperplane also has a new list view. It wasn't there on my last video, and it looks great, very clean and all, although drag and drop doesn't work yet, so we'll see how it goes. All right, back to the overview tabs that I'm telling you I'm in love with them and I think GNOME should invest more on those. And by invest more, for start, I mean that they should to invest on a new shortcut, cause shift control and O isn't quite convenient if you wanna spam it. Ew, how awesome is that? And not even try to pretend you don't look happy. Arrows to select window, shift and arrows to rearrange them, Alt and numbers will also work, and we can select by filtering too. The only still missing is pinning tabs, but pretty sure it will come soon. Obviously, it has a responsive mode too, and to remind you that's the default tabs behavior on smaller screens. So, guys, what you think? Want to see that on GNOME files? But before you comment, any negative opinions will immediately get removed. You will banned from YouTube, and your kernel will panic forever. You ain't in control, motherfuckers.